Okay, thank you for joining The Average Golfer. It's a bit wet. It's not the best day to be out there playing golf in the UK right now. So uh, we may have just a few more of these kind of videos coming your way over the next few weeks, through the winter months at least. And uh, yeah, stay tuned and stick with me. But uh, yeah, interesting debate this one. I um, hear a few whispers about what might be coming out early part next year from the major manufacturers. Not exactly what, but when some release dates might be coming. And straight away I got to thinking, well, kind of what is going to happen during 2019? What are we perhaps going to see? Been changes in the last year, um, minor changes. Some of them you may just call kind of a bit of marketing blurb, repackaged, renamed. And we're going to talk about some of them in a minute or two. See whether or not they're still going to be around in 2019. That's one of the interesting things we'll see. But I want to talk about the possibilities of what we've seen this year, how it will perhaps follow on into 2019. Will there be some major change and what, if anything, is going to make you reconsider changing your set of clubs again when the 2019 new releases come out? So we're going to start with the irons. And the one thing that's gone on over the last two years it, is the strengthening of lofts. It upsets a lot of people. Um, so we've got seven irons now that uh, have got a number seven on the bottom of them but are uh, what is the strongest i've seen maybe 28 degrees is it um i know that some of the ping stuff there's a power spec option i think went right down some of the m2 irons virtually everybody's range there was a 28 degree or there or there about seven iron are we going to see le uh, lofts strengthened even further will there be a seven iron on the market next year that is even stronger lofted than 28 degrees that's an interesting one and like i said will cause a massive debate out there if they do um one thing that's possibly already happened in a release that i reviewed in the last uh, week or two it's not actually it's in the market until uh, i think it's march next year which is the callaway big bertha irons and that is producing a smaller more compact excuse me super grain improvement iron and I think that's something that we might see happen quite a bit of in the new releases that come during 2019 from all the major manufacturers because it just seems to be that they've got this capability at the moment of being able to make everything just a little bit smaller but still packed with all the forgiveness that you would expect and a performance from a super game improvement iron as they're called. And like I said already in that first test that we did of the uh, Callaway Big Bertha irons, that was visible. So they'd improve things like sound and feel. They'd improve the actual, uh, thinned out that top line. Overall profile of the club had gotten smaller, but Callaway themselves still termed it a super game improvement iron. And I think that's something that will happen from all the major manufacturers um, into 2019. Um, no matter which iron set you're looking at, whether it be from blades through to super game improvement irons, will, again, I can see this, the whole focus being increased uh, MOI, um, looking at a greater focus on dispersion, which again, manufacturers seem to switch off the whole debate about length, although arguably 28 degrees seven irons is slightly uh, contradicting that. But there was a lot of contradiction in the drivers in particular on concentrating on dispersion numbers. Um, and I think an increased MOI, uh, best performing driver in terms of MOI, measured MOI was from uh, the Ping G400 Max last year. And again, will that number be uh, pushed even higher and will they be able to increase that is that something that uh, particularly in the drivers maybe that is going to be focused on I think another big thing that could happen next year again is shaft technology again um, lots of changes I know that even the offering from the traditional brand the tight list then four mainstream offerings of the shaft type that they offered at least in the uh, TS range has changed significantly uh, to what other manufacturers are offering but I think there should could be we could see some changes in there's a lot of things going on in shaft technology right now and again I think there could be some major changes and improvements uh, in terms of shaft technology next year that'll be interesting to see what happens um, and, and, and talking of shafts I mean I personally think and again this is uh, something that I've looked at only in recent weeks is a more visible more a greater offering and a standard offering uh, with no upcharges i don't think as well i think this is going to change of graphite shafts available to uh, in irons as i think you'll see more of that the success of that uh, in particular the ust recoil shaft which was uh, made available in quite a number of sets uh, last year 
Um, I think the fact that they've got it good in the fact that there's still a stigma attached with the graphite iron, and I think the fact that they it's effectively a chrome finish on it looks like uh, effectively a steel shaft, but is obviously um, is graphite. I think the the success of that shaft, others like the ten size shaft, which I tested recently in some iron testing, I've got a feeling that you may see a lot more people switching towards graphite shafts in 2019. That's another one that I think may happen. I think we're gonna see all kinds of, we've seen new materials in the last year, maybe 18 months, boron, chrome alloy, graphene, all these things were introduced. I mean, graphene even into the Callaway Chrome Soft Golf Ball. So I think again, you might see uh, some new uh, materials uh, introduced into, uh, into the clubs next year. Also think it could be the year of the one length iron. Bryson DeChambeau has obviously um, shown their worth. He's, uh, he's performed admirably with them. Um, and I do think that on the back of this is where players' success then translates back into influencing um, purchases. Even at um, Four Golf, where I do the testing, Four Golf Chester, there's definitely been an increase in inquiries. I don't know their sales rate, but I know there's been interest straight away increased in uh, in the King Cobra one length irons. And I think it'd be interesting if just the new driver, which I've not tried, and irons of the people that I have seen who've tried them give absolute rave reviews. And I think that that coupled with, if that is as good as they're saying it is, and coupled with this uh, option of one length irons, I've got a feeling we might see, it might be the year of the one length and Cobra could do some damage there in terms of sales. I mean, in terms of other products, I mean, are we gonna see the big one from TaylorMade last year was uh, Twistface. Mixed reception in terms of the um, how people perceived the technology. I think they did very well in terms of selling the product, but there was a mixed reaction in terms of Twistface itself. So again, is that something that, to be interested to see if TaylorMade carry that on into the drivers of 2019. Um, and I almost feel like they've got to in a way because um, obviously having so much sort of emphasis behind the new um, the new technology, the way in which the face would uh, operate, then for them to go backwards on that and not include it in the 2019 range would be uh, yeah they'd have to they'd have to they'd have to explain that one a little bit. So I'm expecting to see that still in the Taylor May 2019 range. I, I think then you've got. Things like jailbreak technology, which has appeared in uh, jailbreak, obviously is the, the Callaway's um, explanation as to what they've got packed into their, uh, without going into the detail of that, but we all know what jailbreak is by now. Is that gonna carry on into the uh, the evolution of the irons and uh, whatever else from, and woods and whatever else from Callaway next year? That will be an interesting one. And then finally, because we, I'm more interested in your opinion on this one, I'm not gonna go on too long because it's a very straightforward debate. I want your opinions on, what you think might happen, and at the end of it, really, is anything going to persuade you? What what it takes to persuade you to uh, to make a change? But the the final thing is, and an interesting one this year, maybe towards the latter part of the year, even was the price of clubs. The price of clubs, everybody picked up on it. Um, they seem to have really pushed forward in terms of um, standard pricing. I mean, the 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 big birth irons that I referred to that come out in twenty nineteen. I think they're thirteen hundred pounds UK sterling, thirteen hundred steel 1400 graphite and that's pretty much i mean the, the p760s came out that's kind of money everybody who released clubs was seen to be around the thousand pound mark for a set of iron so that really uh, raised the bar and i just wonder how that's going to pan out into 2019 that's another big one for me uh, drivers all went above the major brands all went above 400 pound mark uh, in terms of first release and again is that is that now is that the standard is that what it's going to be for uh, irons i can't see them going backwards it very rarely does or will they bring out a sort of uh, a more i mean i think callaway tried to do it with the xr driver didn't they and uh, try and just give that something into a little bit of a different price bracket we shall see but that's it that's the thoughts on 2019 from my perspective if i've missed anything then please do make sure you mention it in the comments as ever it's your opinion that i really want so what do you think is going to happen in terms of technology for next year what are they going to spin on us what are we going to be looking at in terms of um, these major brands what are they going to tell us will it improve your game will it make you change that's what i want to know so yeah comments down below i'll speak to you soon and like i said it might be very soon because we might be having a few more of these debates in the coming weeks unless it stops raining out here in the uk